Hi everyone, Budget Stark here. Thanks again for tuning in. We are checking out the King Arts 1 in 9th scale diecast Ultron from Age of Ultron. Now, this is actually Ultron Prime, but King Arts are doing an Ultimate Ultron kit which expands from this diecast base figure into Ultimate Ultron. So we are only looking at this for the time being. Let me show you very quickly what you get. You get a wicked light up base with a hidden section for the pole, which I really like actually, and it lights up really nicely. Nice bright lights there. You get two different poles, a shorter standing pole and a flight pole. You get this clamp, this battery assisting tool to help you put in the batteries to his back and his head, a pair of tweezers and an extra tool to help you open up some parts. In this figure, this is your friend, the instructions manual, because there are some features never seen before on Hot Toys figures or even King Arts figures. This is something new and I'll go through what those are just so you guys are aware of them. You only get two pairs of hands, a sort of gesturing hand here, pair of hands, and a relaxed pair of hands. There is no articulated hands on this one. You do get two fisted hands which are on the figure, on the ball joints, and as I said, no articulated hands, whereas all of the Iron Man figures you get articulated fingers. I'm sure a number of people will compare this to the Hot Toys Ultron which I will show in a later section of this video. There are some significant differences to the functionality, light up features and how it all looks I think. Size wise you can see the difference in height as well. This is just under 11, sorry, just under 12 inches, about 11 and a half, 11 three quarter inches and you will see that in terms of the height comparison. At the moment I have the LED light on in the head and also in the chest. Nowhere near as bright as the Hot Toys version. Let me switch off the lights here so you can see a little bit better. It's a nice glowing feel to it rather than the Hot Toys one which is much brighter. And this is the face of Ultron and the same as the Hot Toys one, his jaw can come down showing the funky teeth that some people aren't too keen on. But you have that as an extra pose option. So I'm going to show you these new features which are showing on this King Arts Ultron Prime. What I'm going to show you are the firstly the light up features. So normally you lift up the head and you have to screw in a part here. Whereas on this King Arts one, this is blended in and just lifts up on a flap, it's hinged. And here is where the on off switch, you just lift this up, no screw needed. You literally just lift this portion up to reveal the battery underneath. You have the on off switch and it switches on like that and then close it up again. So very easy, nice use of the hinged mechanism, no need for a screw up function. So the next portion is the chest area. So here, this is where it opens up, just use your fingernail, lift this portion up, again on a hinge section. This is where the batteries go in, close it up. Now this is pretty funky. Hidden into the spine section, is a little button just here in the center. You push it in like that and it is lit up. You see the lighting there. So again, I'm just gonna show you, press this section off and on. So really nice use of hidden panels. And just be aware this is the spring loaded section is on the side portion of the shoulder. As I said, the jaw opens to reveal the teeth underneath there. Next thing is, I find quite good is the articulation, how this knee goes all the way around. I mean, it's almost on itself. It says 170 degree bend, so that is really articulated. I think a little bit more than the Hot Toys 
die cast figures and you just pull these portions down on the legs and you get more articulation and bend there. Side flaps on the hips open out similar to the die cast ones you see from Hot Toys. So that's pretty much all I want to show you guys on, on that. The final part I want to talk to you about is the body and there are parts that come apart. Don't worry, it's designed like that because this is the diagram for the Ultimate Ultron where you can interchange the parts when the kit is released from King Arts. So you can make your Ultimate Ultron and using the Ultron Prime as the base to create it. So don't worry, parts come off and reattach, etc. So there will be a separate video for that Ultimate Ultron when that particular set is released. So I'm going to show you now the weight of these particular figures. This is the Mark 40 shotgun from Hot Toys. That's the one in sixth scale. And you can see it's just over 400 grams. So now if we put on the die cast Ultron Prime, this is a one in ninth scale, so a little bit shorter and a slight smaller scale. This is exactly 450 grams, so this is heavier than the one in six scale shotgun. So now if we put on the Ultron Prime from Hot Toys, make sure his full weight is on here. He's pretty much exactly 600 grams. Now he's a plastic figure, one in six scale, probably around sort of 15, 16 inches in height, so significantly taller than the King Arts diecast version. Here is a size comparison between the Hot Toys Ultron figure on the left hand side. In the center, the King Arts Ultron Prime figure, and just putting next to it a one in sixth scale standard Hot Toys Iron Man figure. So if we go with this as the base, you're looking at sort of 12 inches for that shotgun. Moving across to the King Arts, we're looking at, at around 11 and three quarter inches. And Ultron Prime, obviously, we're looking at around sort of 15 and a half, 16 inches or so. So we're looking at a quite significant height difference when you get to the one in ninth scale versus one in sixth scale. And Ultron Prime is a beast in terms of size. So I'm going to move the light a little bit closer so you can see the difference in terms of Hot Toys and King Arts. So the first thing that I think you should be able to notice is the paint app is significantly different. The King Arts is a bit of a darker matte grey, whereas the Hot Toys version is a much shinier grey. There's differences on how it's designed. For example, the chest area, there is less detail on the King Arts, purely, I would say, because of the size difference. And if we go to sort of this sort of angle, you can see the design difference also. What I mean by that is that this center section, just like the King Arts, this center section here does not have any articulation. It doesn't have any twist. This version has a front bend and is almost hollow in the center. It has some articulation features on the chest, like this pivots inwards, this moves in. On this, you don't get any movement at all. It's blocky and is fixed. Also, on the King Arts version, for example, the ears, if you want to call it, or the antenna, can come off. So I've just taken one of these off. Because this part will be interchangeable for the uh, Ultimate Ultron version. On top of that, you don't have any pieces here that are flexible, just like the Hot Toys version is. There's no articulation because these, these pieces can come off. This, for example, would just pop right off like this because you're going to be making Ultimate Ultron with these parts that come off just like that So there will definitely be differences purely on how this figure is made up So I'm not sure if that helps you guys decide I'm sure you can decide from this video and other research that you do online, but there are definitely differences between 
King Arts and Hot Toys versions of Ultron. That's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and catch you all at the next video.